Hey fellow writers, I'm Jessica Froberg and today I want to talk to you about my beta process. Um, I've done two rounds of betas and the first round I needed a lot of help and so I'm a little bit extra and so this is my process of what I did with Google Drive and Google Forms. First create folders in your Google Drive for each beta. That way you can copy and paste the documents. I really like using Google Drive and Google Docs for beta reading. Not only can you put functions that say not let them copy or download it, but it's also really easy to organize. Here's a big truth about betas. Their feedback really varies, and that's not a bad thing, but some will only critique your sentence structure, some will only leave their emotional feedback and reactions to things, some leave so much feedback they're pretty much an honorary CP at that point. Um, but you kind of need to organize all of them and figure them out. And so the best way I felt to do this was Google Forms. And I'm going to show you how I create one in just a minute. But I think they're amazing. Not only is it really organized, which I really like, but you can put all the feedback in the same place. And you can take all these betas who have awesome different ways of feedback and make sure that you get the same concepts and ideas from each one so you can compare them. So let's go over to my computer and I'll show you how to make my beta forms. I've already made a beta folder. This is popping here and let's say I have two betas that I'm trying out in the beginning. <laughs> like their names. Um, within here I would put the Google Docs and I could keep them all organized which is awesome. So let's say we want to make a questionnaire. We're going to come up and we're going to click on new. We want to scroll down to more. Come over to Google Forms. So I like Google Forms. You can customize them however you want. You can do a color, you can do a header if you have a cool aesthetic or something you want to show off here. You can change the font, don't get too crazy. Um, and yeah, so I'd start off probably say the title of my book and part one. You can do whatever description you want down here, like a thank you for getting this far or something like that. So for the questions. There are a lot of websites um, with suggested beta reader questions. I'll link a few down below, but honestly, it really depends on you and what you need from your manuscript. So for instance, I have a big cast of characters in my book. So a lot of my questions had to deal with how they felt about the characters to make sure that they were coming through, if they were fleshed out, if they were not. Also, if you're worried about your pacing or your world building, just tailor your questions to what you need. Um, so. To start off, you can have your forms be anonymous, which is kind of cool, so that your betas, you don't know who said what, or you can have, start off with a name or their email. And, oh, perfect, it kicked it into the short answer for me. And I'm gonna have this one be required. So, so to start a new question, you just come over and you click add question. So let's start with um, a question like, did the story hold your interest from the very beginning? If not, why not? You really want to make sure you ask some questions where they could elaborate. And it kicked it into a long answer text, which is awesome for me. And I'll have this one be required too. So let's go into some of the different options you have. You have multiple choice. You have short answer, paragraph. You have check boxes. This could be useful for characters like did you remember like which of these characters did you remember click on all the ones that you did or oh, my favorite for characters is a linear scale so like on scale from one the worst to ten the best how did you feel about the main character which you would put their name and so I'm doing from one to 10, Ta -da. and that will do a little scale that they can choose from. Um, this can also be used, you could do a linear scale for, let's see, you can see it now. Um, would you recommend this book? One to 10, um, stuff like that. There are a lot of options, a lot of questions you can ask, like their plot twists. You can ask if they saw them coming, how do they feel about the plot twist? Did it still make sense? Um, you can ask if they related to the main character. You can ask about the love interests or the villains. Um, and what I like about this 
is if you have a character really change throughout the book, then let's say they were really nice in the beginning and they're like, oh, I really like them, 10, 10, 10. And then they have a negative character arc. And so they get horrible towards the end. You can see if they start like saying, I really don't like this person and it comes down, 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 then you know you did your job right. So there's a lot of things that you can ask. Um, and it's pretty awesome. You can just do it. I wouldn't say to do too many questions. You don't want to tire them out, but yeah. So let's go to the top. So these are your questions and then responses. This is where when they answer them, they pop in here. But my favorite feature, guys, <laughs> you can come over here and say, create a spreadsheet. La la. And my form's not titled yet, but let's say it's part one. Responses. So I'm going to create a new spreadsheet and I create it. And then ba -ba, here it comes the timestamp when they did it and all these are the questions up here. And then your betas will answer them and then you can look at them and say, all right, did the story hold your interest? And if they all are saying yes, like, yes, I know. Or they say, some say no, then you're like, okay, then I have a problem here. Or with how they feel about my MC, and you would definitely want to make these wrap, there you go. So if all of these are about the same, like 10, then you're like, sweet, I nailed my MC. If you have a lot of threes or fives, then you know all of my betas didn't really like my MC. That shows me that there's a problem. And this response sheet, I can make sure is right in my beta folder. It's already there. So it's pretty awesome. Um, if you wanna view it, you can come up and click the little I for a preview. So you can see how it goes and their little answers. And when I click submit, then I can look over at my form and there's a response. And here's that character's response. Woohoo! And it will go into my spreadsheet. So this is just one way of doing beta feedback. I really like it because it puts them all together. Like I said before, betas have a lot of different ways of giving feedback. So this way you can make sure that the questions that you have about your manuscript can be answered and that you can compare them, which is awesome. So yeah, good luck with your betas and happy writing.